Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, it's the middle of November and um, a couple months ago I did my top 10 fall scents of the current catalog and I want to do my top 10 um, winter scents for the fall catalog. So I feel like fall's, fall's still technically here. But um, as far as, you know, we're getting close to Christmas, everybody's kind of starting to switch up their decor to Christmas and holiday time. And I think once like thanks, or I'm sorry, Halloween is over then, um, and you know, we're close to Thanksgiving, a lot of the pumpkin and apple scents kind of go away. So my fall scents categories, I went off of pumpkin, apple, spice, um, warm and cozy scents, bonfires, sweatshirts, hoodies, leaves and trees, apple picking, and pumpkin patch. So those were kind of the criteria when I think of fall. So winter, this is what I think of when I think of like winter and winter scents. Think of mint, right? Mint, peppermint, icy kind of scents, um, cinnamon, um, holiday Christmas scents, uh, hot drinks, so like hot cocoa, um, even coffee, like hot drinks to keep you warm. The um, sweaters, so we start to wear the sweaters in the winter. Dark berries and cranberries. Those are all um, things that I kind of associate for myself with winter. So let's talk about my um, top 10 scents from the catalog. So these are current catalog scents, um, not um, the limited time offers or anything like that because there's a ton of good ones right now out right now. So just the top 10 from the catalog. And they're not in like a order or anything, uh, but I just did, I did put them in order from the catalog so I could read the scent notes. So first up, I have um, in my top 10, three of the brand new scents that were released with the catalog. And the first one is Blackberry Spice. This is a fantastic scent. And for me, it's a dark berry scent. So it's Blackberry, Cedarwood, and Clove. So it's got a little bit of spice and dark berries. It is fantastic. It is a fantastic performer. It just reminds me of that wintertime vibe. I love it. So that was Blackberry Spice. Second up is a scent Cranapple Crumble. And this scent honestly reminds me of a bakery dish, like some kind of cast love, like dump cake or, um, I keep on wanting to call it casserole, but it's more like a crisp that um, you would bake for the holidays. It's so good. So it has cranberry, actually cran apple, um, brown sugar and whipped cream. So it's not a tart like cranberry scent. It's more like you took the cranberries and apples and you put that brown sugar on top and made it sweet. It's a good mixer. It's a good performer. And it honestly reminds me of something my mom would have baked. It's fantastic. And that is Cran Apple Crumble. Frosted Vanilla. This scent stole my heart. Love this. Um, this is definitely a club contender for me. It is sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. It definitely has that minty vibe that I think of when I think of like cold weather. It's such a good performer. It's a fantastic bedroom scent. 
And it's one of those scents that you put it in the warmer and you don't necessarily go nose blind to it. You continue to smell it. And I love scents like that. It's gorgeous. So this is, um, again, Frosted Vanilla. One of the new releases this year from Scentsy. Highly recommend this one. All right. So the next three are in the holiday category. Whatever scents Scentsy decided was holiday. Dancing Sugar Plums is my next choice. It is um, spiced plum, vanilla, and cinnamon apple. And I think this just reminds me of um, like Christmas and the Nutcracker and the dancing sugar plums. And and it's such a good scent. And it is, it is it's like winter holiday type of scent. It's gorgeous. Um, as you can tell, I have already used some of the Spar. This has been around a few catalog seasons, um, but highly recommend Dancing Sugar Plums. Next up is um, a returning scent. This, this was the um, in the Holiday Brick Collection last year. Very popular. Um, so they brought it back in bar for the catalog for this um, fall winter season. They brought it back in laundry. Um, you can get it in some body care right now. And it reminds me of a sweater. It does remind me of laundry. It reminds me of sweaters. It reminds me of scarves. It's just the perfect winter scent. I love this. It's, to me, it's a good performer. It's a great bedroom scent. It's fantastic. And... Um, if you haven't tried the laundry, it's amazing. So fluffy fleece. Did not read the set notes on that, which is black currant, cozy musk, and heliotrope. And then the last set I put into my category um, is also considered a holiday scent, icicles and evergreen. This was a scent of the month last year. So in 2021, and I want to, I can't remember exactly the month, but I want to say it was around November, December time frame. And it did so well, it um, made it into the catalog and it also made it into the round of Scentsy Bricks this year. So this is available in a brick format, which is, um, if you're not familiar with bricks, it's almost a pound of wax. It's about five and a half sizes of a bar, a lot of wax, uh, but it's, the scent is amazing to have in a brick. So scent notes are, I'll read this, blue eucalyptus, pine needle, and crystallized sugar. So it's definitely like a tree scent. Um, it does have some of that eucalyptus, which is so wintry. And it's, it's a very strong performer long lasting highly recommend icicles and evergreen all right um next up is in the spice category and this scent reminds me definitely of christmas it is cinnamon bear it's just um cinnamon and cloves but it reminds me of like red hot cinnamons which reminds me also of my mom around the holidays. So Cinnamon Bear, fantastic scent, um, great mixer, just red hot cinnamon. This is basically what it is. Next up from the bakery category, um, what I consider um, hot chocolate in the winter. Who doesn't think of hot chocolate? Um, hugging a mug. This is fantastic. Chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. And it's all of that. It's it's like a chocolate cup. Chocolate cup of cocoa. That's exactly what it is. Now, in the fall, my favorite fall and winter scents, I already chose like graham cracker crunch. But I do love mixing this with graham cracker crunch. You're like chocolate and peanut butter. It's fantastic. Love this scent. 
um, for this time of the year. Fantastic. Hug in a mug. Two more to go. Um, so this is a um, returning scent. Um, it was a scent of the month Arctic Kiss. I want to say December of 2020. It is in the fresh category. It is Arctic Mint, Fresh Air, and Vanilla Clouds. And it's such a refreshing scent. Um, I swear there's some melon in here, but it is, um, to me, what I think, um, honestly, January smells like. Arctic Mint. It's not super many, but it is definitely a wonderful scent to have right after the holidays. And then last but not least, this is number 10. Like I said, in no particular order, Silver Bells. What a fantastic scent. I'm surprised this is not in the holiday list of scents. This is Mint Candy Canes, Winter Pear, Caramel and Vanilla Sugar. I have to say, I don't get the pear at all. Like I don't get a fruitiness for this. It's it is candy canes, and then that caramel and that's it. vanilla sugar. I couldn't remember if it was just vanilla or sugar, but it kind of sweetens. So it's not like a dead-on peppermint, but it's definitely minty, minty sweet. It's a gorgeous scent, great for the bedroom. I don't feel like this is like a powerhouse for like an open concept, but it was a powerhouse in like my medium bedroom office area. It did very well. Silver Bells, highly recommend. So there was my top 10 scents that I recommend for the winner, the 10 that I love from the catalog. Um, share with me what your favorite winter scents are from Scentsy. And thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you on my next video.